Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The father sacrificed and made a name for himself only to give birth to an idiot. Who, who he spent all his money in America, training him just to, to be deported and become a nomad, a non-entity. And that non-entity has become important to UPND today. Even PF did not regard him. PF didn't see him as somebody important. PF was PF PF was giving him one one naira two two naira small small money. You, today you pay and you are even carrying him on your jet. How about the people that fought for you? Lucky comedy. You carry these children that don't know anything. You want to destroy their career like the way PF destroyed Kasaka's career. You carry them on jet. Can these children, when, when power changes hand in 2026 or any time, can these children afford to pay for the money? They are going to be with like Kasaka. Kasaka was hot cake until he started campaigning for PF. After PF won, lost the election, where is he? These children, their comedy is already dry. It's already dry, like a dry fish. And you are finishing it already. Eh? You are just, why are you carrying them on President on, on Zafel Cup? If we condemn you for carrying a, a whole international star like Mampi, international star like, like your map, international star like Mac 2, if we condemn you for carrying them, using taxpayers' money to carry them, then you, you are now carrying a camera, I mean, not even a, a vlogger, not even an international vlogger. You are carrying him on the plane, and the, you, people are clapping for you, and you think that people are fools. President HH, there is a report on your table. There is a report on your table. There is a report on your table that has told you from the office of the president, intelligent officer, they have told you that you have your popularity has come down to 30%. It's still on your table, and you are aware of this. Do you know why you are losing popularity? It's not because of the crime, the things that... No, because right in your party, people are not happy. The people that fought for you are not happy. And these are the people that have your interest at heart. These are the people that have your interest at heart. They are not happy. They are no longer talking to people about you. If you go to the street today, you will see that the popularity is gone. That's why today, now, you are engaging clueless children. Children that don't know anything. Mother comedy. Uh, 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 what is the name? All these young, young children. They don't know nothing. Who can they influence? What do they know about politics? You abandon the people. Eh? The people eh? that fought the battle, you are not dealing with idiots like Simon, fools. Eh? It's, you claim that you are you are a born again, you are a child of God. If you are a child of God, if you are neutral, you are by now, you are supposed to stand and speak and tell the president to say, save Amasebo, committed crime. I've never seen you write something bad about UPND. I've never seen you speak up for the poor. I've never seen you speak up for the masses. It's, you are always with the government of the day. And when I fight, you say, we, are, we can fight our battle. We are going to fight our battle. How are you going to fight that battle? Because you have never fought. 
Right now, you PND people that are abandoned are crying. You PND does not have any single structure. HH is going to Copper Belt. Do you know for him to gather crowd now, they have they have to arrange small these small small comedians and so on, these dry guys. Now, just to pull crowd for HH. When HH was in opposition, he was he was the crowd puller himself. Anywhere he passed, people follow. Anywhere he passed, people follow in number wow 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 because they loved him genuinely. Why did they love him? Because we spoke to the people. We spoke to the people. So today, Simon Mwewa, the mother has is now getting contract. She's getting favor from the government. And those that fought for the government are told to form cooperative. And they have obeyed. They have formed cooperative. What is happening in the cooperative? Even your praise singers, those, most of those, the few that are remaining, that are fighting me today, they are hungry. They have nothing to write home about. Your musicians, the cadre, the, 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 uh, 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 the cadres, uh, 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 organized families, uh, calfmen, Knock you need. All these guys are still hungry. They are still poor. They fought for you to be in power. And you are in power. And you have neglected them. And you have followed Judas. The same way Simon betrayed Isiel. Uh, Ego one, ego one, ego one. Boma, Lusaka one, Kasama one. The same way he betrayed them is the way he will betray you. Go back to the people that fought for you. Like I told you, when the I started, one thing about me that I don't fear because we have been trained at the Godfather to know that no one will defeat us. No one on earth, born of a woman. So long as you have a head and you have, a, unless, he, please, no matter who you are, no one can defeat us. We have been told and we have tested the power and we have seen the power. We don't fear. This was me in 20, 2017. Look at the date. I was still in Zambia, but I was fighting at the Galungu, the sitting president. Eh? I was fighting for HH. Release HH. Let HH go back to his family. Release HH. Release HH. Release HH. He to go back to his family. I was fighting Lungu. Look at it. By the time I was fighting Lungu, I was in Zambia because I don't fear. Look at me. I was a very young boy. Just take a look at that picture. I was young, but I don't fear. Because I know the kingdom where we are coming from. We don't fear. When I was fighting for you here, Simon was dancing with the PF. In fact, those days, Simon never used to mention a church. Simon never used to... Simon never used to call your name. Simon used to call you the leader of the Reds. It was very difficult for Simon to call you a church. Simon didn't want to mention your name. He used to say, the leader of the red. The leader of the red. But today, you are now, I don't know if you are, they, he call you Ego One or P1 today. I don't know what he call you because, <laughs> and you are crazy. You believe that people that love you hate you and the people that hate you love you. The reason why I responded to this idiot who called me a criminal, I am a criminal, yes, but I stand with the people. I speak for the people. As a born again who is not a criminal, what are you doing with the UPND? Your mother got contract. Did you tell the world? You are now getting benefit. I don't want to say many things that, ah, please, 
you state house you you provoke me you are the one that is provoking me and when i come to fight you it looks like see one is a bad person detach yourself from this idiot he has nothing to offer go back to the people these people that you think they are nobodies these people that you think that they are finished these people that you call mad right now they are the people that put you in power go back to them go back to them go back to them let them eat from their labor no one will be happy to labor in vain will you be happy to labor in vain no let them eat let those that fought for a church let them eat when mutinta the wife to the president mrs mrs aka in the her excellency when she was crying we are crying with her let those who are crying with her laugh with her those people that caused that pain are now the people that have carried like they, it's like it's like now they are it's like now they are they are the people that love hh the most but they are the people that cause the pain they are the people that cause the pain the reason why the nigerian government fought me is because pf led by kelvin sampa the youth the pf youth uh, chairman then is the one who went to nigerian embassy and reported me why did they report me he reported me because he wanted the government to stop me from fighting for a church. Imagine if I stopped fighting. What was going to happen? Hmm? A church, I believe that you are going to watch this video on your own. Not your advisors. The people are not honest with you. President Akainde Chilema. Your people are not honest with you. They are, they, they are stealing. They are after their pocket. They don't care. If they cared about you, they would have told you that somebody like Simon Mwewa cannot be trusted because he will betray you at any time. They would have told you that carrying dry comedians like uh, uh, these guys, Maza, just all that, carrying them on a, 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 a government helicopter. Please. It's a wasting of taxpayers' money. And you don't even need those people. What are you doing? What are you actually doing with Frank Walia? What does Frank Walia know about UPN? There are people that know about UPN. Go back to those guys. You, you 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 used to love all of us. <laughs> you know, you used to love all of us. You used to say, when I win, this will happen, that will happen. But what happened? What happened? To me, I'm not, uh, I don't want relationship. I don't even, uh, the, the Michael, Michael nearly lost his life. He was campaigning from the bush. Where is he today? Somebody like Michael cannot fly a, 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 a helicopter. It's, it's, it's Simon. Simon that was all over with PF. Please, where is your brain, you PND? Eh? b -flow. Even if b -flow at, at, at the at, at some point erred, he went to meet a, he went to a state house to meet them. He came back and apologized and continued fighting for the people and continued fighting for a church. Why have you abandoned him? What how about Mubita now? He went to he went for he went to prison because of you. Mukuka Mukuka. Up to today, he's still going to prison. He's still going to court. Up to today, he's still going to court. Hmm? How many of them am I going to mention? Mr. Moffat, His Excellency, the letter of Mr. Moffat is, is there on your table. You know that he sold everything he had. As I speak today, it's a laughing stock in his life. Everyone is laughing at him. Because he cannot afford to eat again. People lost their fingers. Why have you abandoned them to go and embrace your enemies? 
It's not about me. I don't need the relationship. Like I said, I'm still young. If the opposition come today and they agree to what, what I've told them, I mean, I'm a politician. I'll, I'll work with them. I'll fight with them. I don't have enemy. I don't have permanent enemy. Uh, a few years ago, UPND was my best friend. I mean, you loved me so much. Today, because I'm saying the truth, yeah, we don't see a one. See how one is dividing the nation. See how one talk about your country. When I was fighting PF, I was in South Africa. PF, anytime I come live, PF will say, go back to your country. Go back to your country. Go back to your country. Those things, I mean, those things doesn't faze me. I am an African. If Kenneth Kaunda fought for other countries from Zambia, I mean, this is Africa. I can fight for anybody that I want. Those things don't even... I don't... Talk about your country. Your president. When I was fighting for in the history of Nigeria. When I was fighting. When I was fighting for a church. We had the worst president in the history of Nigeria, Buhari. Buhari was the worst president that Nigeria ever, ever had. We had him. I was not talking about him. I was fighting PF. PF was, hey, go back to your country, talk about So today, few, I know that UPND is just few people, few, very few people uh, who come here, ah, talk about your country, talk about your country. You can open a Facebook page and talk about Nigeria. I mean, I'm, uh, you, we have liberty to talk. I can talk for anything that I want. The Satan that, ah, Satan, Satan, Satan. Every day you're talking about Satan. Is Satan from your country? Why do you talk about him? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Is Jesus a Zambian? Why do you talk about Jesus? Why you don't, Israel, Israel. Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Why you don't talk about Zambia? We are in a global world. Where you can talk about anything. You can talk about... Bowman Lusambo donated $1,000 to the campaign of Trump. <laughs> it's Trump, is Zambia. So those things don't even... Those things, it's fools that write those things. It's idiots that say, talk about Nigeria. Talk about Nigeria. You know something about Nigeria. Create a Facebook page, if you think it's easy, and talk about Nigeria. And gather Nigerian audience. That's why I am the dawn of power. I'm going to leave this broadcast here. It's a warning to UPND. You have allowed yourself to be deceived and uh, your enemies are now your friends and your friends are now your enemy but uh, it won't go far everything that has a beginning has an end like I said, I see a one. I'm not an ex-convict. Simon is an ex-convict. I was deported from Zambia because of politics, because I was fighting for a church. Simon was deported from USA. I am in Nigeria. I've established I'm doing well. I'm building a city on my own. Simon, what are you doing in Zambia? My father has a very big compound. Very, very big compound. Massive compound. And a very big church. When I came back to Nigeria, I didn't go and occupy it. I left it for my young brother. Because in Africa, once your parents send you abroad, they don't expect you to come back with empty handed. They expect you to come back and take over. And they... From where they stop, you add more. So I left everything for my young brother. I started afresh in Nigeria. Today, I'm leading the largest congregation in Imo State. Largest. I'm building a city, not a house. 
not a shopping mall, not a shop, a city. I think, uh, okay, it's on the other phone. I, I was going to show you. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can see something here. And this city will be open to the public on uh, It will be open to the public on in in August in uh, October 26th of October. The whole world can come and see what C1 built in Nigeria within the space of two years. Its development. Hmm? Let me show you some more. I was deported, and this is me. This is a city that I'm developing. I was deported. I came back. I didn't just sit and start crying. I was deported. I was deported. I was deported. No, 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 no. I was deported back to my father's land. And I'm here. I pick up the pieces. And I'm doing well. You, what did you achieve from America? After your deportation back to Zambia, what did you achieve? nothing i'm a big person people respect me anywhere i go here in nigeria but you are you, you are not you are nothing the only thing you do is fighting with women in the market square beating women that's why you are an ex-convict hmm? uh, 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 a president that knows what he wants, a government that knows what he wants, should have stayed away from us, uh, stayed away from you. There are good people that are not ex-convicts that fought for UPND that can do better. You don't have nothing, not even influence. You don't have go live today and talk about uh, politics. Let's see how many people you influence. You don't have it, but I have it. So we can we are not on the same level, Simon. We are not on the same level. And we cannot be on the same level. I always hear you say, Ah, HH is wise that he didn't associate himself with C one. Please. I've I was talking with HH. If I want today again, I will talk to him. If I want to talk to him till forever, I will talk to him. I am the one that stopped on my own. Almost everybody at State House, I was talking to them. Almost all of them, I was talking to them. The evidence is there. I am the one that stopped. When I realized to say, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. we fought together. You are eating alone and we are not eating. I stopped. Not a thing that, a thing that, uh, if I want to talk to HH today, I will not talk to him. Uh -huh. You want to come back to Zambia? Please, come back to Zambia to do what? I respect Zambia, but we must understand the level of growth. I love Zambia so much. Zambia is here. I will come. I, I mean, I will visit. Ah, you want to come in Zambia, in Zambia because, oh, please, there are, there are levels to life. At my level, I've passed the level of going to stay in Zambia. Because I am now an international man of God. I have bigger crowd and bigger responsibility in Nigeria. And you know that when you want to reach the world, if you are a minister, you are, you are a pastor, you are a prophet, you want to reach the world. There are only two countries in Africa where you will stay and achieve that. Number one is Nigeria. That is why if today a man of God is coming from Zambia, coming to Nigeria, no one will attend. No one, no one will even attend the crusade. They will even laugh. But if a man of God is coming from Nigeria, like for example, uh, Adeboye, Oyedepo, uh, TB Joshua, they say they are going to Zambia, you will see that the stadium will be filled up. Hmm? Why? Because... Nigeria in in the in African map, Niger when you capture Nigeria, you have captured the whole world. 
So I am here now fighting to capture the whole world. You can't uh, tell me to come and stay in Zambia to do ministry. It's like moving me from grade 12 to grade 1. I love Zambia. In business, I love it. Perfect. In many, many other things, Zambia is good. The peace and so on. But if you want to be an international uh, figure in ministry, it's either South Africa or Nigeria. So I cannot, you don't expect me to come to, to stay in Zambia. I will never, I will never, I will never, ever in my life settle in Zambia. I've passed that level. You people must travel. Before you comment, you will not come back to Africa. Travel. You will know that actually Zambia still has a long way to go. One of the reasons why I, I, I uh, campaigned for a church. I even campaigned to an extent that I had to leave South Africa to come to Nigeria and met my, look, my state government and told them to say, if this guy win election, all this money that our politicians are stealing and taking to Dubai, why not they steal it and take it to an African country? Move those billions to Zambia. Eh? Zambia, what you have, move to Nigeria. Eh? Nigeria, what you have, move to Kenya. We use that money that we are carrying and taking to Dubai. That money that we are storing in offshore accounts. That we are going to die without touching those money. We use them to develop Africa. That's what I was fight, fighting for. I assured my state government to say, if you help me here, yeah, this guy wins election. He's coming. I know many of you, you carry all your money. You go and load it in offshore account in Switzerland. White people are using our money, the money that you stole from Africa to develop their country. When you steal that money, because you cannot stop a politician from stealing. That is a guarantee. A politician is going to see whether you like it or not. But when you steal that money, invest it in Africa. Go to Zambia and develop Zambia. Go to Kenya, develop Kenya. Come to Nigeria and develop Nigeria. Africa is one. When we build ourselves, IMF will not the I, I, IMF will not see what IMF is doing to African countries. They can't do it to China. They can't do it to any other country in Europe. Those were the things that I was fighting for. At the end of the day, whew. <laughs> anyway, I will leave you here so that I have a lot of work that I'm doing today. I just want to say that may God bless you. People of Zambia, I love you. I don't want you to see this war that is coming that is between me and the people of Zambia. You know that I love the people of Zambia. And I will always love the people of Zambia. And I will always stand with the people of Zambia. This war is not between you and me. No. This war is between bad government and me. Criminals like Simon I will be coming always live enough is enough I love you people of Zambia so much you even know deep down your heart you know that see I want to love you you know it that see I want to love you I read one one caption here This was in uh, 2020. Hmm? Mass newspaper. The last one I'm going to read for you. Mass newspaper. Have you seen it? Sia One, the Nigerian who loves Zambia. By Julius Kapemba, PhD. July 2022. July 22, 2020. That's who I am. It has not changed. That love has not changed. It has not changed. That's why I'm fighting for you. Even most of you that, that uh, I mean some few press singers, I've managed to open the eyes of a lot of press singers. They are in my inbox. In thousands. These are people that sacrifice their life for UPND. I've managed to open their eyes, but there are still few. 
I'm asking you to wake up. Somebody comes into your father's house, carry your food and eat your food, and you keep quiet. If you keep quiet, you are a fool. If you are among those people that are keeping quiet and watching people like Simon eat what belongs to you, touch your right hand on your chest and say, I'm a fool. You are a fool. Big one. You must rise up and fight for what belongs to you. So I will leave it here. I'm going back to my house. I love you. May God bless you. Share this broadcast so that everyone will see and understand where we are heading to. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.